Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I am filming a Mac haul for you guys. And I have not hauled at Mac in a really long time. I have not shopped with them. Um, it's just one of those things where I just, you know, I haven't had a chance to either go online or go to the, the store to, to look at everything. So I went online looking for something in particular because I didn't think the stores would have it. And I got that and then I got a whole bunch of other stuff too because I started just looking through like all the new collections and different categories and such. So I am going to get started. I'll show you everything I got. I haven't actually even like swatched or opened anything. Um, I just took it from the box and left it here so I could film this video. Um, and before we get started, I know my hair is different. As you could tell, I did get uh, balayage highlights and I got a haircut which was much needed. Um, I will do a whole separate video, just like all my hair and a couple of the products I picked up. Um, but I just wanted to do, like, so you're going to see this video first, so I figured, well, let's just let the cat out of the bag, yes. And I even posted a picture on Instagram, um, but my hairdresser took, like, like a split screen of my hair, so you could kind of see it there. But yeah, it's different. Um, she definitely did a lot. Okay, I'll, I'll just talk about it in the, in the video, but let's get started with this haul. So the first thing I picked up were these four um, Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Sticks. I got four of them overkill right um you know me you know i love the entire pro longwear line the foundation the powder the concealer everything pro longwear i'm about it so when i saw these i was like yes i need them big time so um i got like two lighter colors and two darker colors so the first color is at the beach which i thought is such a cute name and very you know apropos so they come in just like these little sticks they kind of remind me of like the shade sticks only like much better packaging and this one is just your typical like nudie color which is right oh my god could you even see it because i like self tan um if you can even see it it's like nudie peach with like, like a slight like sheen to it i thought this would just be gorgeous like all over the lid with just some lashes um gorgeous i am like super impressed the, the formula is so like creamy and it's just like it's gorgeous like if i were to blend it out like you can't even see it like it would blend it. oh my god it's so pretty i wish you could see like the sheen in that the next one is Sandbar, which is like, um, I would say like kind of like a dirty, a dirty brown, like a light, nudie, dirty brown, which, oh my God, that is so gorgeous. Oh my God. Even that all over your lid, like smudged out with like a little bit of a darker color in the crease. That is gorgeous. I'm really impressed so far. Um, the next one is Tea Leaves, which is a cute little name. Again, it looks like this, and this is more of a, I would say a bronzy for sure. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. This beautiful bronzy, oh God. That, seriously, is like perfection. All you would need, like in the summertime, is this all over your lid. Like smudged out into the crease, perfection. And then the last one is Soft Steel, which I think, um, if I remember, this is like more of like your satin taupey um, color, which, oh God, that's gonna be perfect for a smoky eye right there. That is definitely more, has definitely more purple in it than the bronzy one, but that is going to be so amazing for like a smoky eye. Let me know if you guys want a video on any of these um, colors. I'll do like a little tutorial on it. But this one, the lighter one, of course I smudged that out, so I'll put that back in the middle. Um, just so you can see, they are just, they are beautiful. I am so, so happy I got them really really love them um then the next thing i picked up were two of their uh, versicolor stains i think this is max version of a liquid lipstick um i kind of guessed on the colors i was just going for the nudie ones um the first one here is energy shot which is beautiful like this beautiful light pink i have no idea how you open this <laughs> um okay i think like this okay oh my god look how pretty swatch that that is a gorgeous like pinky coral oh my god that is so so pretty and it definitely um i can feel it's very like light and sheer i could see where it's going to definitely stain um they're not thick or heavy at all but that is beautiful so that one was energy shot then the next one is long live the night could the name get any longer um and then of course this is just like your typical like nude which i am all about that it's so sheer it's like this sheer pinky nude like it's right here like i would have to like build that up but it is beautiful like really sheared out on the lips it's definitely gonna last i'm trying to build it up so you can see but that that is 
right there. Long live the night and then energy shot, which are perfect, I think, for summer and spring because they are just like these beautiful nudie and pinky coral colors. Perfection. So on with the rest of the swatching. I picked up two cream blend blushes and these are both colors that I've had before. Um, what I did was when I, I like revamped all of my MAC stuff, like I got rid of so much stuff that was just old and especially like the cream blushes. I love them, but they were in a palette with like a couple of powder blushes. So they got kind of like contaminated and they were just really old and gross. So um, I decided to pick them up and I didn't pick them up in the palette form because I did have them in like that because I thought it would be like sanitary and just stay fresher um, if I got them in just the little actual packaging. So um, the first one I got is Posy, which has been one of my all time favorite colors. It is beautiful. It is right here, oh my God. It is so gorgeous. It is a, I would say, or am I gonna swatch you? <laughs> like a like a dusty pink, right there. There is the, there is Posy right here. Like a dusty pink um, with, ah, I don't know, like a little bit of coral, I would say. This is like perfect for the summer, you know, like when you want something just light on your skin, just like a cream blush. I think these are great and I love them because I think they have great staying power. Then the next one I got was Britwit, which is just your typical dusty nude color, which is my absolute favorite to wear. Um, I, I just I love, love these colors. And this to me, like right there, that, 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 this color is me like to a T, like my, it has my name all over it right here. This is Britwit. I definitely will be wearing this a lot because it's just like that perfect color. Look at that. I think this is one that's going to be flattering on everybody. So those are those two blushes. Then um, what I went online for was the um, this brush. It's the Charlotte Olympia from MAC. Um, and this is the, it comes in this little packaging. Um, this is the 249. This is the one I was telling you guys about that I use um, for my cream shadow that I said was discontinued. but they were bringing it back. So I found it. So I'm like, that's why I went on there looking for it. So I wanted another one of it. Um, and this is actually the short handle version of it, which is fine. I mean, I don't, I don't care, but it's the, the same, um, let me just grab my hair. This is the one I like literally used it to the big, this is what I use for my eyeshadow bases and you know what I use with my NARS, um, eye paint. Um, here, let me show it this way. This is what I use the 249, And this is like the full size that they don't make anymore. Um, and this is what they re-promoted and it is still, it's like the same brush. It feels really nice and it's just like really cute. So that's what I went on there looking for. And then the last thing I got was a foundation brush, which I remember seeing this when they came out and I just never made it to, to get there. But this is like their new, um, ah, what is it? The 170 and I believe it is a, oh my God, look at this. It's like Fort Knox to get in here. But um, hang on, I think I can hopefully it'll be easy to to open so um, it's supposed to be like a rounded angled um, foundation brush and I'm, I'm always looking for new foundation brushes even though I love my it ones I still wanted something just to try out and I like really like Mac brushes they they're what I started using and all right, I'm gonna open this and I'll be okay I'm back I couldn't get the plastic off of here but I did get the top off so this is what it looks like it is a short little dense um, angled foundation brush, which I am super excited. I think this is going to be great for like stippling on your foundation and buffing it in. Um, I just wanted to try something different and I was curious about this because I don't really, I mean, Mac doesn't really have any foundation brushes like this. They have like their, their typical ones, but nothing like this. So I am excited to try this out. I will definitely let you guys know, keep you um, updated on it. I could probably, if you are interested, I can like do a video, um, like a get ready with me using like the MAC products I got. Let me know if that'd be something you guys are interested in. But this is the brush and that is everything I got from MAC. Not too much, but um, it was, I definitely needed to um, to get a new, you know, get some new stuff from MAC. So let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.